Hello and welcome to the Radio Winterfold podcast. My name is Freddie. On this week's podcast, you can expect our usual mix of news, sport and weather, along with all things Winterfold and a whole lot more. Coming up! On this week's podcast, we talk about the theme of the week and what it means to us. We will also visit our thought of the week and everyone's favourite, Winterfold's weird and wonderful world of wow. There we will also be a few moments of reflection in the prayer of the week. So sit back and enjoy the show. Hello and welcome. My name is George Ritter. Winterfold's theme of the week, confidence. Are you listening? It's important to us as a school because if we are confident, then we can all feel relaxed and have a good time at school. Don't be angry and sad if you can't answer a question. Be confident. Give it a try. Have a go. Give your friends confidence by telling them what they're good at. Hello, my name is Josh. Welcome to Winterfold's Thought of the Week. Today we will contemplate this thought. Don't be afraid to fail, be afraid to not try. What does this really mean? What would happen if you really wanted to do something but you weren't, You were worried about what would happen if you weren't very good at it? Maybe trying a new sport, maybe learning a new language, maybe making a new friend. If you don't try, you'll never know what you can achieve. You will always be wondering, what if? What is the worst thing that could happen? You might want to give something a go and see. Maybe ask for some help. The worst thing is to to not try and fail before you start. Hello folks, this is Ethan. Today I'll be bringing you Winterfell's local news. As always, we've always had a good week because we love to have fun. But as for the future, we shall look forward as we have. The boys under 8 A and B have a festival at home. The first and second team will play at Moor Park away. The under 11 and under 10s team will have a rugby with Moor Park at home. The girls have under 11 A and B versus Moor Park at home. The under 11 C team have Abberley home and the under 10 have Abberley as well at home. Don't forget your blazers on Thursday 5F as it is your mass. Also at lunch on Thursday we have groove diggers. Get grooving guys, get grooving. On a Friday we have Macmillan coffee morning so cake. But no off beats which is sad but junior band is still on so you get to hear some music. So you banders don't miss out. Yes, I am making up words for radio. It is what I do. Along with music, orchestra tr- have a trip to Bromsgrove School. Along with photographs, individual. This is Ethan, and have a good day. Everybody, and this is Jeevan. Time for a roundup of last week's sporting fixtures across the prep school. Our hockey teams played a block fixture against Abley Hall School. On Tuesday, our young year three and four players enjoyed their first experience of competitive hockey at Abley, where they also met King St Albans in a triangular fixture. The girls played very well, quickly learning the skills and movement needed to find success. On Wednesday, our under 13 C team began their season with a convincing win against Abley C team at home. Our under 13 B team also put up a great performance but unfortunately just couldn't finish off the job by getting the ball over the line. Following these matches, the under 13 A team headed out for a real battle with the Abley A team. Our girls were strong and determined and it was obvious from the first whistle that it was going to be a close game. Scores level at half time with everything to play for. Winterfell scored early in the second half to go ahead but Abley responded and it was level again until the last few minutes of the match when Abley just managed to squeeze another goal giving them the victory. The girls should be pr- very proud of the way they played especially given that all the Abley girls were, were club players and several of them playing with county hockey. On Wednesday the under 13 C team travelled to Abley for their first fixture of the season. The girls demonstrated some fantastic skills 
working well together to achieve a great result for the first game. The girls defended well to finish the game with a clean sheet. The under 11 B team also had a success, success away at Abilene, attacking well and producing some lovely passes to achieve success. This was followed by the under 11 A team who played an evenly matched game against Abilene. There were some fantastic, fantastic kicks made by the goalkeeper which allowed the girls to keep a clean sheet. Defensively, the girls had strong to fend off some hard attacking from the opposition. Throughout the match, there were some lovely plays made through the made their own goal, but unfortunately, they just couldn't get the ball over the line. A massive well done to all our sporting superstars this week. Welcome to Winterford's Community and World News. I'm your host, Alice, and here are a couple of local and world stories that I want to share with you. Fantastic news has been broadcast from West Midlands Safari Park as a new baby giraffe was safely born on September the 13th. The baby giraffe, who is already six feet tall, was born to Mum Arusha and Dad Rufus. Keepers kept a close watch on the new arrival and were initially worried he wasn't standing to feed properly, so stepped in to help. Here we 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 here at Radio Winterfold are pleased to announce that mother and baby are doing really well. And thanks to the support of the keepers, he should be able to receive visitors very soon. A happy ending to this tall story. <laughs> As we all heard the passing and devastating news of the Queen's passing, before this happened, the Seven Valley Wel- Railway painted one of its trains purple for the Jubilee and named it Elizabeth II. After hearing the news, they have painted the nameplates on the train black to commemorate Her Majesty and show her respect. <laughs> Today's world news is NASA has delayed another one of its rockets. The rocket was called Artemis 1 Moon Rocket. It has already been delayed twice before because of a fault and a fuel leak. But because of the tropical storm Ian heading towards the Kennedy Space Center, NASA has to delay the uncrewed rocket which was supposed to launch on Tuesday. Now a story that made the world headlines. Darth Vader finally retires. The legendary actor James Earl Jones, who has voiced the menacing Dark Lord Darth Vader in the Star Wars movie for over 40 years in retiring. The actor, who's 91 years old, has decided to take a step back from his career and enjoy a well-deserved retirement. But many are asking, will his voice live on across the empire? Disney, who now on own the Star Wars right, have come to with an agreement with James Earl Jones. Digitally recreate the actor's voice using artificial intelligence and Jedi wizardry. Jones' voice was remastered from the original Star Wars film for recent Disney Plus series, Obi-Wan Kenobi, so it looks like we have not heard the last from Darth Vader after all. Fold. My name is Ollie, but you can call me DJ Huddle. I'm going to be giving you an explanation of the weather this week. On Monday, we had a highest of 14 and lowest of 7 degrees Celsius. Tuesday, today, we have 13 degrees most and 6 degrees lowest. Wednesday is 14 degrees highest and 8 degrees lowest. Thursday, not too different, 16 degrees highest and 6 degrees lowest. Friday is 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 all right with 9 to 14 degrees getting warmer saturday is 10 to 16 degrees last but not least 
Sunday and it goes by its name is 12 to 17 degrees. Yeah, it's not going to be a bright week, but that's all from me. Goodbye. Hi, it's Ethan again for Winterfold's weird and wonderful world of WoW. I've got some facts for you today about a country I'm pretty sure you never knew existed. The Tuvans People's Republic, or the Tanu Tuvo People's Republic, was a partially recognised socialist republic which existed between 1921 and 1944. It dissolved on the 11th of October 1944 by the Soviet Union. It was near Mongolia, China area. Very weird area. It's a weird country, so that fits in this category. Also, its capital was Kizil, and its currency was the Tuvan Axa. This is Ethan. Bye again. And finally, this week's prayer brought to you by DJ Huddle and DJ George. Thank you, Jesus, for filling my heart with love. Help me to share your love and goodness by treating the people I meet with kindness, especially if they annoy me. Help me to follow your example. Amen. Amen. Thanks for listening. If you have any stories or things you'd like us to take a look at, please get in touch with us here at Radio Winterfold. This podcast is a Radio Winterfold production.